Lego bricks, battery compartment lids, laptop keyboard keys, bag latches, snap fit designs can be found in everyday products. Welcome back to Rapid Direct's channel. In today's video, we will introduce snap fit in plastic parts design. You will also learn the various types of snap fit joints available and how you can get the best results when designing your snap fit. Without further ado, let's get right to it. What is snap fit? A snap fit joint is a small protrusion that helps catch a feature in the mating component. Simply, it is a molded plastic feature that holds two parts together without additional fasteners. It is one of the most efficient and simplest ways to assemble plastic parts. With snap fits, products look much cleaner because there are no visible fasteners on the outside. And since no additional fasteners are needed, thereby reducing the overall cost of assembly. Besides, snap fit joints can reduce weight. Moreover, snap fit joints simplify the assembly process by eliminating the need for specialized tools or equipment. However, there are a few downsides to using snap joints. One is that they are not as strong as fasteners like screws. And if one snap joint breaks at any point, you must replace the entire part. Undercuts are also needed in the design of snap fits, and this will increase injection mold tooling costs. Snap fits have their pros and cons. It's important to fully consider them when deciding whether to use them on a project. Next, let's look at the three main types of snap fits. The first is the cantilever snap joint, which is the most common type of snap joint. Their design includes a cantilever arm with a tapered interlocking feature at the free end and a matching recess in the other component. The right angle profile of these snap joints provides a secure interlock that you can only disassemble by manually releasing the snap. Sometimes they come with L or U-shaped cantilevers, eliminating the need for sliders. Cantilever snap joints have simple geometric shapes, so you can easily implement them in a snap fit design. They are also durable mechanical joints, which can be temporary or permanent. A common issue with them is the permanent deformation of the cantilever arm. The arm may snap off or not be able to return to its original shape due to hyperextension. The second type is torsion snap joints. They are designed with a rocker arm with deflection force largely dependent on the torsion of its shaft. The rocker arm and torsion bar design ensure easy opening of the cover. You only need to push the free end of the beam to lift the hook. Torsion snaps are simple joints that are easy to assemble and disassemble. They also have a long life and a lesser risk of failure. They are ideal for applications requiring radial locks like ratchet, push release, and threaded safety locks. However, designing torsional snap fits is more complicated than cantilever snap. Finally, annular snap joints. They are the best options for circular or elliptic parts like container lids and pen caps. The distinguishing feature of these joints is the circular ring or collar with one or more protrusions. These protrusions are designed to engage with a corresponding groove on another component. When the ring is snapped onto the other component, the protrusions flex inward and then snap into the groove, creating a secure and reliable connection. While snap fits are an excellent assembling solution, some challenges may arise. Stress concentrations at the root are the most common challenges, especially for cantilever snap joints. This may predispose the cantilever to shear off. Creeping can also occur when the material is under stress. This creep will affect the connection between parts and render them useless. Another challenge is the possibility of repetitive or fatigue loading failure. Repeated assembly and disassembly of snap fits may cause failure at various stresses, causing parts failure. Tolerance issues are also possible when gaps are not placed rightly. This prevents components from fitting together correctly. To solve these challenges, let's dive into the best practices for snap fit design to reduce stress and strain on any snap joint assembly. Start by adding a fillet to the base of the cantilever. This will help distribute stress and create stronger connections. The fillet radius should be at least 0.5 times the thickness of the cantilever base. You can also taper the design by diminishing the cross section of the cantilever beam. This way, you can evenly distribute the stress in the material. Increasing the clip's width also will help strengthen your snap fit design. Remember that you should keep the clip width within 5 mm. Adding lugs to a snap fit assembly will ensure proper alignment of the parts. This practice will also help you transfer some of the shear force away from the clips. Finally, consider building direction. 
Avoid snap joints that are built vertically upwards from the bed. Ensure that they are only deflected during assembly, not during connection. Designing snap fit joints is undoubtedly an integral aspect of plastic parts manufacturing. It provides a convenient and efficient way to achieve durable mechanical joints. To get the best snap fit result, it is also important to find the right parts manufacturing partner. Rapid Direct has an experienced team capable of handling various plastic injection molding projects across diverse industries. You can rely on us for professional technical support and cost-effective solutions for your plastic parts project. Thanks for watching this video. We hope that you find it educative and enlightening. If you want more machining content, kindly subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up. See you in the next video.